You like your morning bath? You're getting ticklish? Come on around here now. Behave yourself. Put the talk there. You don't bother yourself. You know it. Hello there, Lightyear. How are you feeling today? I ain't feeling so well. I got trouble with my rheumatism. <laughs> Show them teeth. That's the boy. Come down here. Sweetheart, beauty. Yeah. Hello, boys. Hello, Bonnie. Hello. Hey, I know you boys don't want to practice with a bond dance, but say, how about a little work? Huh? Okay, oh. come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Horses valet in this neck of the woods. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, boss. Hello, Hello, Mary. Hello, Ted. Hey, Ted, you tend to that business for me? You bet I did. For what? Ted, as the race draws near, I'm beginning to feel nervous. Why? Oh, I'm afraid you might get hurt. <laughs> oh, don't you worry about me. Say, boss, hmm? how long has it been since you won a race from that fella Cooper? Well, Cooper and me have been running these relay races for about four years. My horses have only won one race so far. <laughs> oh. oh, well, Dad, you won't have to worry about this race. Why? Because Ted's going to ride for it. <laughs> oh. If Ted don't win this race, I'll have to walk home with nothing on but a pair of suspenders. <laughs> <laughs> Here comes the Cooper now. Howdy, folks. Hello, Hi, Cooper. Hi, Hi, Cooper. Here's a present I got in town for you, Mary. Oh. Perfume. Oh, thank you. Oh, that's all right. I'm glad you liked it. Oh, by the way, uh, how's the horses, Martin? A fine shape, Cooper. I'm going to win that race from you this year. You are? Mm-hmm. Who's going to ride for you? Ted here. Thought you said you was going to win. That's right. We are going to win. And if you were riding your horses, it'd be a cinch to win. Connections will arrive at 3 p.m. today. Meet me. Peggy. 
That's great. Oh, Mr. Cooper, you remember my sister Peggy, don't you? Sure, I remember Peggy. Let's see. She's been away to school about four years now, hasn't she? Well, gee, we've only got an hour to meet that train. Come on, everybody. Come here. Probably going to give you a bag. <laughs> uh, you stay here now until I get back, and don't don't you hop. Stay right there. Frog's legs? No. What do you mean? Well, all the swell folks eat them. <laughs> and here's my chance to try one. <laughs> Fuzzy? This boy been bothering you? Why, no. He was too light and he was going to cut his legs off and eat them. <laughs> so you was. Yeah. Was you? Huh? <laughs> oh, is your leg, is your, is your leg fuzzy? <laughs> fuzzy? Fuzzy? Where is your son? Yeah, 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 you is. Fuzzy. Mm -hmm. Son, are you, are you all right? Huh? Boy, if you, if you ever bother Fuzzy again, I'll make his wise tongue fit you just like a hat. Poor <laughs> <laughs> oh, little Fuzzy. But I'll mess you all up. Come here, son. See her any place? Something must have happened. Jack, Sonny, where is she? Well, uh, are you sure this is the right train? Well, the telegram said it was. Well, maybe they kept her after school. Same here. So you're Ted Duncan. 
Yep. It seems to me your name is familiar. In all of Sis's letters, you're the only one she ever wrote about. <laughs> <laughs> well, aren't you going to kiss me? Why, why, sure. When we play post office, I'm going to have a lot of letters for him. <laughs> oh, uh, Peggy, I want you to meet Jeff. Why, how do you do, Jeff? Uh, howdy. <laughs> how to do? Have you a girl? Oh, no. Well, maybe there's a chance for me. Well, uh, I think so. <laughs> well, come on, let's get moving. Let's get out of here. Hey, hey, you, you haven't forgotten anything, have you? Oh, yes, I almost forgot Abercrombie. Abercrombie? Yes. Oh, Jeff, will you open that box for me? Yes, ma'am. Hmm? Oh, oh, look at that. He's very cute with Jeff, Elkhart. Oh, he likes you, Jeff. Yes, I think he's great. Well, come on, let's get going. <laughs> you take care of the monkey, Jeff. Yeah. All right. All right, let's get going. Let me hold him, Jeff. Hey, you better not.
don't you make your daughter, Jenny, do some of those highfalutin dances of hers and entertain the folks? Oh, it can't be done. I've been trying to get her to do it all evening. But she's so darn bashful, I... <laughs> oh, Jenny, you ain't bashful, are you? Well, why don't you make up your mind? Oh, what a nice tomcat, Jenny. Mrs. Weatherby. <laughs> His name is Fanny. <laughs> yeah. Say, then, coax her to dance, won't you? I'll go on. I don't want to. <laughs> coax me. <laughs> yes, I'll coax you. I'll coax you. Come on with me. some highfalutin dancers don't do that <laughs> for the last four or five years. And I thought tonight, don't do that. <laughs> I thought tonight would be a good night to inflict it upon you. I want you to meet my daughter, don't do that. <laughs> this is my daughter, Jimmy, a chip off of the old block. It's your turn. My turn? Come on. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the next stunt on the program is Bill Martin's little daughter, Peggy. Now, Peggy's going to sing for us one of those red hot numbers.
Oh, uh, will you excuse me? Why, yes. Going to town in the morning before the race. Oh, poor Ted. There's something at the jewelry store I'm going to get from Mary. It's something for her finger. Oh, 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 oh that's it, eh? <laughs> I've been waiting to hear that for some time, Ted. And I'm sure you'll make a happy. I'll do my best. Mm. Hello, Cooper. Hi, Dick. How are you? Well, Martin is certainly a mighty nice affair tonight. I'm certainly enjoying myself. Glad you like it. You know, Mary looks sweeter tonight than she's ever looked. There's a reason. Yes? What do you mean? Well, if Ted wins that race tomorrow, Mary and he's liable to announce their engagement before they intend to do. Oh, I see. It's that serious, isn't it? Looks that way. happy to hear that. You feel quite sure that you're going to beat me tomorrow then, don't you? Hey, Cooper, I'll let you in on a little secret. With Ted riding my horses tomorrow, I'm sure we'll beat you. But if you feel so sure about it, why not double that wager we've made? Post the money before the race tomorrow. And in case either one of us fail to start our horse before 3 p.m., the money will be forfeited to the other. There. It's all right with me. Well, I'll see you later. Thank <laughs> you. 
the good news. What's that? Uh, your father was just telling me of your engagement to Ted. Is it so? Why, yes. And I'm certainly surprised that a girl of your intelligence would consider a cowhand like Ted. Well, I'm surprised that you're saying a thing like that. That's an insult to Ted. What's the matter, Mary? It doesn't concern you. What's Mary's business is mine. What a great hero you turned out to be. No wonder this girl is bewildered. Let's go outside, Cooper, and we'll talk this thing over. Just a minute, big boy. Let me get the first crack at the big red onion.
shall we uh, sit down? That kid sister of yours sure is cute. Oh, do you like her? Yes, but... Howdy, boss. Hello, Cooper. Hi, boys. I got a job for you two tomorrow. I want to get square with old man Martin and his foreman, Duncan. Get the idea? Well, what's the matter, Cooper? Did the girl turn Never you Never mind in? about that. Listen. Duncan's going to town in the morning, and I don't want him to get back in time for the race. a minute ago and it done evaporated. <laughs> oh, I don't know anything about your pie, but I sure could evaporate one of those donuts. Here, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, Miss Peggy, have one. I just made them. Thanks. Lightning. You're welcome. I sure good, huh? Yeah. Done now. Hey, boys. There she is now. That's initiator. Oh, 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 for you is to ride a bucking mule. Well, do I ride him with or without donuts? <laughs> <laughs> well, you can use your own judgment. 
Such a bright idea. <laughs> and you, Tommy. <laughs> hey, look out, Susan. Poor little fuzzy. Uh, Papa know you sick, son. Uh, you don't cry. Uh, Papa's going to give you some real good cough medicine. Uh, that, that'll fix up your tonsillitis. Uh, be a good boy now. Uh, now, come on, now, take your medicine. Come on, son, now, open your mouth. Open your mouth. Atta, baby. And a boy, ain't that nice, hmm? Sure. <laughs> Howdy, boss. What's the matter, Lightning? Something wrong with Fuzzy? Yes, sir, boss. He done got his feet well. He, he's broke his clothes. <laughs> well, what you gonna do about it? Well, well, if he takes one good drink of this medicine, I, I'm sure he'll crow. <laughs> come on. Come on, now, be a good boy. Now, take a little bit more. It can't, it can't hurt you. Now, come on. Good morning. Oh, good morning, Mary. Ted. Hello, boss. Oh, where are you going, Ted? Why, uh, I'm going to town. What for? <laughs> well, uh, uh, now, don't ask too many questions, honey. You'll find out soon enough. I'll see you at the rodeo, dear. Goodbye. Goodbye. We're on the way back from town. Come on, let's go. Come on, boy. Thank you. 
wonder where Ted can be. Oh, don't worry, Dad. He'll be here. Well, I hope he gets here soon. I wonder what I can get for this piece of glass in a hawk shop. You'll get a good sock in the jaw when I get loose. Did you get him? I'll say we got him. Where is he? That old shack down near Tuttle Creek Ranch. We tied him up. And I left Denver there watching you. Okay, Chief. Shack? 
What do we do now, Peggy? Tommy, you hold the horses. All right. Tank, get your rope. Quick. Don't make any noise. Sandy, tell me you're a pretty good rider. Well, sorry, but there's no race for you today. Started yet? No. That's it. Work fast. <laughs> Howdy, Judge. How do? Say, uh, where's Ted Duncan? I don't know. I haven't seen him, Judge. Gosh, that's a funny thing. He ought to be here by now. It's time to start the race. Uh, uh, how'd you know I was here? Well, we'll tell you all about it later. You've got to hurry and make the race. Tommy's holding a horse for you. Get going. All right. Thanks, Peggy. Thanks, Hank. Where's your rider? We're ready to start this race. Well, he'll be here soon, Judge. Well, if he ain't here in a hurry, you better get yourself another rider. I can't imagine what happened to Ted. I guess we haven't got a chance. Hey, 
Church. Here comes Ted now. Here comes Ted now. into town for, dear. I, uh, I hope it fits you. Yes, sir. I'm a grandpappy now. <laughs> <laughs> 